Welcome to the Militia Gaming Community, I'm Trigger, and this one is all about the 2015 Honda Civic Type R in Need for Speed Unbound. Let's go! Hey, real quick before I get into the video, just a quick shout out to the Jaeger Hunters Pro Team and Luigi for helping me dial in these builds. I'll put links to both of their channels in the description. Alright, there's a lot to get through with this Civic. So let's get into it. Starting with the B build. First and foremost, this build will not always be available due to the fact that it's actually broken. Like the code is messed up. Someone put a four where there should have been a one and the machine said beep beep boop bop and then some unbound cartoon smoke fizzles out of your console. The good news is I was able to figure out how to fix this build if it somehow tweaks out on you. Okay, not that kind of tweaking. So first, let me show you the remedy. Once you are done with your build, check the rating. It should be at the top of B. If it isn't, simply change the NOS and then change it back. It should fix it like it did here in this clip. Now what causes this is the fact that the car is actually supposed to be an A+. And when you adjust the steering sensitivity, the game recognizes that it's having its own problems back on the back end and it tries to fix it. Just smack the game back down by changing the NOS and changing it back. This should fix it. All right, this build is not a piece to killer, but it does compete with the RSR somewhat, especially if you know how to drive and the other drivers don't. It's a great build for anyone in single player because you will literally be thousands of yards ahead of the AI in any B tier race. I recommend trying this out ASAP though, because as I said at the beginning, it is broken and the devs are definitely looking into all of these crazy meme builds. And it will not be around forever as they will probably patch it out. Here's the build card, just screenshot it and let's move on. Into A we go. I tried pulling the same shenanigans with that same engine in A and I was unsuccessful. In fact, you really can't build a viable A tier build with that engine and the five speed gearbox. The rating jumps around between B and A plus, and it never lands in A until you drop the six speed into the car. Now that's not really true. You can get it into A, but it's either really bad on the rating or really bad on the top speed and thus just not viable with that engine gearbox combo. So you gotta drop a six speed into it. And when you do that, the engine just really doesn't perform well enough, just like me in my high school baseball games. But the engine that did perform well was actually the stock engine, the 306 horsepower 2.0 liter inline four. I actually ran some ridiculous times when compared to other cars I've tested. This Civic, believe it or not, is right up there with the Lotus Six Siege in A tier. So have fun embarrassing your friend who thinks he's got the best A tier build. He's not really your friend anyway though, right? I mean, he's just the guy you keep around to pick on. Every friend group has one of those Kevins. And if your name is Kevin, I'm just kidding, your friends really do like you. Anyways, here's the test data. I ran a 146.01 on the drain and a 121.24 on Windy City Sprint. The drain being the more twisty turny race and Windy City being the more highway e race. That's slightly better than the Exige build that I put out last week. So here's the full build. Let's screenshot it and move on. A plus was the most difficult testing I've done yet. This car has nine different engines that can be built into the A tier. So I think it took me and Luigi somewhere around eight hours of testing to get these builds right. And still, we have two builds for you. A plus is a tier with the most races and it also features the most speed races. And the reason I bring that up is because it's sort of advantageous to have multiple builds of the same car. One that is optimized for short tracks with higher amounts of turning and cornering, and then a separate build that is optimized for longer, straighter courses with lots of high speed sections. Now you could really do this with every single car. You could build a short track and a straight track build. However, it doesn't seem to be as necessary as it is in A+. Like I said, it's the tier with the most races and the most variety of races. So if you're like Andrew Tate, well, what color is your baguette? And you have the cash. Oh wait, he's like arrested or something, right? Let me pick another rich car collector guy. Um, Jay Leno. If you're like Jay Leno and you've got the cash to have multiple versions of this car, 
and you know the playlists, then you'll be ready to take on anyone and still maybe lose to a golf. But at least you'll be in second place, so that's really good. Anyways, here's the short track build. And here's the straight track build. If you have any questions about these builds or if maybe you spot an issue with them, please feel free to DM me. I might just be one of the only creators of my size or bigger that reads literally every single DM on three different platforms. It may take me a day or so to respond, but I do get around to everybody, I promise. All right, shout out to all the Heat 5 members of the channel. Please enjoy these builds. And of course, welcome to 2023, everyone. Trigger out.